That's actually just a really bland cup of tea. Hey guys, so I've got a review here for Good Kill. Now, I actually had been excited for this movie because it was being directed by Andrew Nicola. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Anyway, he directed films like Lord of War and Gattaca, and I was really excited. And Ethan Hawke has worked with him on a couple of movies, and they work well together. The only thing is, Nicole, Andrew Nicola has had some bad movies in the past. The Host, and then he did In Time, which was a huge letdown for me. So, Good Kill was kind of like, oh, okay, maybe he might, maybe he can get on the right track. Mainly because it was going back to a kind of a controversial war topic, which this film is about drones. This film talks about the operators and the effects that these men have when they have the ability to take life at the click of a button. And that is extremely stressing, you would think. Now, throughout the movie, we do see a lot of elements of the morality of these soldiers being pushed to the limits, especially when they have to do contracts with the CIA, where CIA are having them do some straight up shady shit. Now, I also know there are lots of different versions of PTSD, and it's really interesting to see a different form, but when you see one that is silent, like Ethan Hawke's, it just... It doesn't work that well for a movie. When you're watching a movie about a guy who's just staring off into the distance at stuff for untold time and he's just drinking a liquor bottle in his car, you know, it's not anything different and it doesn't really get you into his character. Sure, there is kind of a relevation at the end, but it kind of feels a little bit Hollywood, a little bit like slapped on. Obviously he doesn't talk, but that's the thing, his wife really goes at him for this, about oh, how he doesn't talk about stuff. Like, this is normal. You are with a military officer who is doing some stuff that he says he cannot talk about. I think January Jones honestly is in this movie to be hot. I don't think she really has a good character in this film. I'm going to be straight up honest. I think her character is really weak. And the thing that is worse is I would rather watch this movie than this movie now, it's not just because this one's about drones, this one's about a sniper. It's not just because this one's more entertaining and this one's not. It's because this film portrays a character better, be it a false one, than this one does. Because this character doesn't do anything. The one thing I did like about his character is that he wants to be back in the air. He wants to be an airman, because that's what he wants to do. And this idea of flying something that you're not really flying, not that fear. that The idea that you are basically a god and you have control over life and death over these people and that you don't have like they don't have a chance of taking you out this feeling of unfairness is something that his character is admitting but the problem is it just he doesn't admit it well i like ethan hawk as an actor and i've liked andrew nicola's films but this film is just it's boring i've actually delayed doing this review i saw it like three four days ago but i haven't wanted to talk about it because i'm just um, uh, this film is decent ish and it has good moral standings and it has some interesting points but the very Hollywood ending and then the lack of character from Ethan Hawke I'm not saying I didn't like this movie at all I really like the scenes with the drone strikes especially as the shittier they got the more effect they had the more moral questioning but everything outside this little box sucks it does because every other character is just a straight-up stereotype I'm going to be harsh on this movie. I liked where it was going. I liked its idea. But unfortunately, my final rating for Good Kill is a 3 out of 7. I wanted to like this movie. I did. But unfortunately, that's my thought on it. Anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoy this review. You guys tell me what you think. Did you like this movie? Do you like what it's about? Do you think it asks some pretty big questions about drone strikes in general? Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. See you later.